Hello everyone, this is Providencia. Welcome to my channel. I know it's been a long time, but I already did a video explaining why I wasn't doing any YouTube videos. But we're not going to talk about that in this video. In today's video, I'm going to show you a few dish ideas, dinner ideas, whatever you want to call it. Maybe it will inspire you to go and make this for your family. Most of all these dishes I have links to, so whatever link I could provide, I'm going to leave it in the description box below. With that being said, let's go and start this video. So in this particular day, I made some delicious soup. I added some chicken, fideos, which is noodles, and some root vegetables. Oh my goodness, looking at this soup. I don't know. I think I'm going to make soup very, very soon. I also made it with some white rice, added some avocado. I personally like to add some lemon to my soup. It tastes really, really good. It gives it a nice kick. I got this video in my channel. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. Please make it for your family. Now, I don't know when I made this. I had a folder with a whole bunch of dinner ideas that I was going to do a video for you guys and this happened to be there. Who knows if I probably add it in another video. But anyway, I made some arroz con gandules which is yellow rice with pigeon peas. Some delicious ribs. Listen, my family loves my ribs. Okay, they love those ribs. <laughs> And I also made it with some Dominican potato salad, some avocado, and some sweet plantains. I got videos on the ribs, the rice, and the potato salad. I will leave it in the description box below. So here you're going to see a little light cooking. I'm making some rice with black beans. Now I do not have a recipe on my yellow rice and black beans. However, I do have a video. It's pre-recorded. <laughs> you guys know that I do a whole bunch of pre-recorded videos because I have fibromyalgia. But we're not going to talk about that in this video. The point is I already recorded a video on my rice with black beans. So you guys are going to be able to see it very, very soon. I just got to edit it. Give me some time to adjust to being back on YouTube. <laughs> I'm about to make the chicharrones. Now I have a couple of chicharrone recipes in my channel. I'm going to leave those links in the description box below. I also have the chicharrones that I made that particular day. That will be down in the description box below. And yeah, just waiting for them babies to fry up, be nice and crispy, for we could eat it. <laughs> So the rice and beans are done. I always have a subscriber that always tells me my rice always look perfect. I, I don't even know how I do that because I eyeball my rice every time. And here are the tostones that I made. I have a recipe on that. I will leave it in the description box below along with the garlic sauce which is ajo. The chicharrones is done. I cut up some cucumbers. I'm also going to pair it up with some avocado. Mm -hmm. 
And here is a close up of the chicharrones. Listen, <laughs> my kids love when I make these chicharrones. I always say my kids, my kids, my kids, cause they are the one that be real with me and will tell me if they don't like something. And they love my chicharrones. And here is the entire plate. Oh my God, those tostones with the ajo. Oh my God. I love tostones with ajo. I also made a gravy with the chicken and it's homemade again. You gotta watch the video for you can see how I made the chicharrones that day. Cause like I said, I got several videos on chicharrones. So over here you're gonna see some light cooking as well. I am making some spaghettis with shrimps infused with butter and veggies and oh my goodness my husband loves when I make this. He loves anything seafood. I have a video on this recipe in my channel. I'm gonna leave it in the description box below. I suggest you make it for your significant other. Make him or her feel extra special. Trust and believe that she's gonna love you more when you make these spaghettis with shrimps, okay? <laughs> Here's a close-up of the spaghettis with shrimps. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't fathom how much my husband loves this. So please, make it for that special someone. I also have some plantains. Listen, I make plantains with a lot of my dishes, so you're gonna be seeing a whole bunch of totones, okay? some lettuce and some garlic sauce. Here is the final plate. The spaghettis with shrimps. I also have some garlic, some Parmesan cheese, some salad dressing on the side to go with the salad, and some tostones. Now in some of my plates, you're going to see the Dominican flag and you're going to see the Puerto Rican flag. I am Puerto Rican. My husband is Dominican. So in case you're watching for the first time, now you know. Since I made this for my husband, you know I got to make it nice and pretty. So when you do it for that special someone, Make sure you hook that plate up and make it look nice and beautiful. Just don't make it tasty. Also make the plate look very nice as well. And since my kids do not like shrimps or anything seafood, of course you know I gotta make something extra so I made them rice beans put some corn on the side chopped up some hot dogs and some plantains this particular day we went to Texas Roadhouse I did a vlog on my vlogging channel so 
yes my vlogging channel is in the description box below like you know subscribe get to know me better <laughs> we had a lot of fun i went with my husband and two of my kids we ate a lot me and my husband drank the beer and it was just a good day So this was the 4th of July and I did a barbecue. I recorded it in my vlogging channel so check that video out. However, I did do another barbecue before that with a whole bunch of recipes. I believe it's like 7 or 8 different recipes. It's already edited. I just gotta add a voiceover. So let me know if you guys still want to see that video considering that it's a whole bunch of summer recipes. Just let me know because I know that it's fall and people want to see fall recipes. <laughs> However, I made some nice Italian salad. This was actually the second time I did it because my son's girlfriend fell in love with that salad and it was very, very delicious. That will be on the video that I was just telling you about that if I should edit it or not. So yeah, let me know if you want this recipe. I also seasoned some chicken. You guys know that when I food prep, I food prep a few things a day or two before the event. So yeah. <laughs> I made my famous Dominican potato salad. I definitely made this for my older son because he loves when I make this potato salad. I have a video on that. I will leave it in the description box below. Here I made some homemade burgers. Me personally, and I'm going to be real with y'all, I do not like buying frozen burgers already made. Like that you could just slap it in the grill. No, I, I need to make my burgers homemade like I got to do it. I made three trays of that. Here I am making some yellow rice with vegetables. I also have a video on that. I will leave it in the description box below. Here I am cutting some potatoes. These potatoes, I'm gonna boil them first, but not too, too much. I'm gonna boil it enough for it to be a little cooked, but we're gonna finish doing it in the grill. I mean my Mexican corn. I believe I have a video on that, but in like a come cook with me video. If I find it, I'll leave it in the description box below. And here are the potatoes. I have some melted butter. I added some nice herbs in there. I'm brushing it on the potatoes, but we could take it to the grill and grill it. And that's right, I needed to drink my Presidentes. I'm sorry, because it was a long day that day. <laughs> Here I am prepping all of the things that we're going to need to like, you know, make your own burger. I got some onions, some lettuce, some tomatoes, some cheese. You know, just things that you can add to a burger. Make it yours.
Not sure if you see me sitting down prepping all of this because I messed up my right leg, I had sciatica, and then I sprained it. It was the worst month ever. <laughs> But now I'm feeling a little better. I still got a little problems, but I'm doing much better than before. And here is the yellow rice with vegetables. And yes, I always make a lot of food when it's like a barbecue, holidays, or an event. Because my kids could eat a lot, okay? And sometimes they just take some food home. So I like to make a lot for that way everyone could take some home. We'll have some leftovers. We don't got to cook the next day and all that good stuff. But this is everything that I made for the 4th of July. And here is my husband's plate. He wanted a little bit of everything. When I tell you everything on that plate was delicious, everything on that plate was delicious. <laughs> and you know I had to add at least a coffee clip. Come on, everybody loves coffee. I know I do. I love my Santo Domingo coffee and this Colombia coffee that I always buy at all these. Those are like my two preference of coffee right now. This is from a recent day in life vlog video that I did. Again, that's why I'm telling you, check out my vlog channel. I did two meals in one day. I seasoned some pork chop that was going to go in the oven. I was boiling some potatoes to make some mashed potatoes. Also, my husband wanted salmon and shrimps. The salmon, oh my goodness lord. I was just doing my thing there, hooking it up, and I was writing it down while I was making this salmon. And oh my goodness, I'm glad that I wrote it down because those salmon was so good. My husband was like, you gotta make it again. So I'm definitely gonna make this salmon in my channel. Here's the shrimps, nice and seasoned. The pork chops is done, came out of the oven. It has some nice juice that you could put on top of your rice. Oh, so good. The mashed potatoes are done. I have recipes on my mashed potatoes. I will leave it in the description box below. Some garlicky green beans. I also have a recipe to that. I will leave the link in the description box below. Also, I had just a little bit of leftover beans. So I'm warming that up. I made some shrimps in a nice sauce. I believe I have a video on that in my channel. If I do, you already know. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. The white rice is done. And 
and the salmon ay dios mio that's all i have to say honey ay dios mio because it is so good and the funny thing is that i made it like very simple but it has so much flavor i have to do that video on this channel I also warmed up some corn. This is my son's play. He doesn't like beans. <laughs> so he just got some white rice, pork chops, and corn. Those pork chops were very tender, soft, delicious. And here is my plate, which is the mashed potatoes with the shrimps, the gravy in the middle, with the salmon, with the pepper, lemon, corn. Oh my goodness, listen. I wish I could have done a Come Cook With Me video that particular day on this whole plate because it was so good. Really, really delicious. And this is the last clip, sad, <laughs> but yes, <laughs> this is the last clip I just did this few days ago. Some biste en cebollado, Roman beans, white rice, sweet plantains, salad, and avocado. I'm going to leave the link to my Roman beans in the description box below. And I'm going to leave the link to my steaks and onions, which is Biste en Cebollado, in the description box below. And let me tell you something. You have no idea how many people hit me up regularly telling me about this Biste en Cebollado and how good it is. And that they're thankful that they were able to find that recipe and do it in their home. So I highly recommend that you make it because your family is going to love it. But I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. I am going to start posting videos every week. But let's just say if I skip a week, I'm going to repeat this a hundred times in my videos. You guys know I have fibromyalgia. If you don't know what that is, I will gladly leave the name here. You Google it and you'll understand. Some days are better than others. And there's just days that I have a flare up for a whole week. And I need rest. And I cannot do any videos. So please understand. That's why I highly suggest that you press the notification bell. For you guys could know when I'm posting a video on my channel. And yeah, you know, just press that notification bell. And do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, comment in the description box below. I know I haven't been answering comments, you guys. But I'm going to get to that very, very soon. And yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. I hope you guys are enjoying your fall. Take care. God bless. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.